Hey guys, Teacher Thomas here. We just finished getting our last two cameras installed here by TMV Security, Mr. Tom Moon Wan in uh, Ban Chang at uh, Ban Pai. Yes. So yeah, we're really happy. Now we got the, all four entrances into the house covered. So we have the exterior and the interior. So yeah, great. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So I wanted to talk to you. Uh, sit down. Here, set it to the table. I wanted to ask you about uh, one of, you are uh, with the Royal Thai Navy, Chai Mai? Yes. And one of your jobs also is you are air traffic controller at uh, Utapau Airport? Yes, sir. And you were telling me that uh, Utapau is going to have another runway, correct? Yes. And do you know when it's scheduled to be complete? Uh, to, uh, complete it is three or four years ahead from now. Okay. Now it's Thai gov government signed with the big company to build the new runway and con maybe the construction in the airport. And new terminal, air terminal three and uh, hangar to to fix up the big airplane. Wow. Yes, and the new school of Thai civil aviation, uh, civil aviation training center is the big school in the in the airport also. Wow. So yes. that's a large expansion. Yes. And yes. so they're going to have a lot more departure. Uh, destinations, right? Because yes. right now, when you fly out of Utapau, you can go to like Kuala Lumpur, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, Taiwan, and China. In China. China okay. is two airport: Nanning, Nanchang. Okay. Yes. And and to Europe, go to England. Okay. And Russia. Okay. And Russia. And Russia. Yes. yes. And with the new runway. Now they're going to be a lot more departures. Correct? Yes, yes, yes. Do you know where they will they be able to go to, say, Hong Kong and uh, Taiwan? Yes, half, half, half. What in about the to USA? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe have to connect because a lot of times uh, when I fly from Suwannapoorn Airport. I go to Taipei in Taiwan or yes. to Hong Kong, yes. and then I connect to go to USA. Can do. Okay. Can do. Sir. And now today, really important, Thai government signed with the big company to build the airport. The okay. Big, big airport, new new runway. And what is the name of this big company in Thailand? Uh, Joy venture with the Bangkok Airway. And uh, BTS, BTS mean uh, owner of the rail station in the in the Bangkok. Okay. And uh, Stakon is big construction company. Okay. Three, three companies so joint venture. Joint venture. Yes. Okay, excellent. Now at the same time that they're expanding Utapau Airport, they're also going to expand high-speed rail to connect all three airports, right? Like Suwannapoorn, Don Muang, and Utapau. Yes, yes. Now, is that the same company that's involved, or is that different? A different company. Okay. Uh, the rail station, high-speed high rail station is CP. CP is Sai, Sai with the Thai gov government last year. Now, start, start, start uh, construction. Awesome. Yes. Now start from Constitution from the from the Bangkok to Udapa. Okay. Now, do you have any idea when they think they will complete the high speed rail? Uh, four years from now. Okay. Finish. Okay. Four years from now. Same the airport. Okay. So uh, about four years from now, and we know how construction can be delayed or maybe be finished a little early, but. So at the same time, you have a brand new runway, new terminal, everything at Utapau. You're going to be able to get on the high-speed rail from yes. Utapau and go all the way to Suwannapoorn. Yes. Or you could stop at Don Moan. Yes. If you were not going all the way 
to South Bangkok. If you were going to like Central Bangkok, you would get off at Don Muang. Yes. And then from the high speed rail, you can catch the BTS. Yes. And go anywhere in the city. Yes. So that's going to be a big part of development for Rayong province too, right? Because yes. Yes. Uh, before, uh, it's very difficult. You either have to drive or take a taxi, right, to go to Sawanaporm Airport from yes. Rayong. Yes. But now, I mean, uh, we're here in Banchang, but Utapau Airport is like less than 10 minute drive, right? Yes. So you could just park at Utapau and the high speed rail will be, they'll have uh, some type of entrance to the high speed rail right at Utapau Airport, correct? Yeah. Yes. Wow. And the high rail, High rail station have it at the Pattaya, Chonburi, and and Chak Chiang Sao, and Suwanapum, and Don Mue. Wow, wow! So there's going to be several uh, stops that you can get off. Yes. So now it's so easy to drive from here in Rayong to Pattaya City because we have the new motorway, yeah. Highway Seven. So that was just opened. So do you do you think that there's a reason uh, that they're connecting everything like right here to Rayong? Is it just because of Utapau or does Mataput yes. industrial area, does that have a lot to do with it? Yes, yes. Because that's big money oil and gas industry. Yes. Now is PTT, is, are they at Mataput? Yes, PTT okay. is at Mataput and uh, Banchang have the smart city to build in Banchang area. Yes, because we're the first city when you come into Rayong province from Chonburi. Yes. The very first stop. Yes. So, yeah. Excellent. Thai, Thai government uh, in the future in the chapter, Thai government built new Udapau city. New Udapau city is a smart city on Wow. Big, 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 big village. No have the electric pole like this, no have. Right. Yes. Have, uh, have a sun solar, solar cell. Solar cell. Wow. Oh. So there's a lot of investment coming more and more to this area. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, we love Ban Chang, but we used to come here for holiday and we always loved the, the beaches are so quiet. You know, mostly Thai people and local expats, but not too many tourists. You know, like Bang Sare, Jom Tien, Hat, Hat Patia, it's so busy. But here, it's pretty quiet and we have big beaches, yes. right? Yes. But we didn't, we didn't know about all of the development. And now that we live here and I ride around on my motorcycle, I see all these new gated communities. Like right here, the day we home yes. is a brand new gated community, and those are all smart houses. Yes, they have the solar panel, they have uh, the the cooling system, uh, airflow built in, yes. and all of the electrical. Yeah. you is smart. Like there's no hot water uh, heater in the shower. Yeah, it's all in the smart system. Yes. So I've been so impressed to see all of this modern development since. We just moved here in September 2019, you know, and we never knew too much because we just come here for holiday, we relax, go to the beach. But now that we live here and I get all of the news and especially getting it from someone like you, an air traffic controller at Utapau that knows firsthand about signed contracts for the new airport terminal and runway and the high speed rail. So because a lot of times the Farang expats that live here in Thailand, we hear a little bit news in English, but we don't really know true, not true. So I thank you. I thank you so much for for giving us the information that you know to be true. And so Utapau, there's so much room around Utapau Airport. Right, so yes. much room for so that's going to be like the smart city yes. area of Banchang. Yes, the location of smart city I see on the project uh, between Pala Beach and Puyun Beach. That two things like that direction is smart city of Banchang. Wow. Okay. Really near from 
from, I see from the, your house. The brand new roads that they are putting in out there. So yeah, makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Now is Utapau Airport is it in Chonburi Province or Rayong? Uh, on Re Rayong. It yes. is Rayong, but Rayong. it's really close to the, really close to the Chonburi. Because yes. uh, like Satehip is Chonburi, Jai Yes, yes. Okay, so I knew it, but it is in Rayong province. A lot of people yes. call Utapau Airport Pattaya Airport, but it's okay. it's not even in Chonburi. It's much closer to... The, the name of the airport is uh, Utapau Rayong Pattaya International Airport. Okay, okay. <laughs> So Rayong should come first because it's in Rayong province. Yes, it's Rayong not province. in Chonburi province. Yeah, not Chonburi. Okay, okay, and it's the Ampo, the city that the airport is in, is Panchang, Chai Mai. Chai Mai. All yes. right, yes. all right. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you giving us the information. So yeah, uh, Mr. Tamon Wan is a man of many hats. You are active duty as a commissioned officer in the Royal Thai Navy. Yes. Well, so. For, for 30 years. 30 years? Yes, uh, and, the Royal Thai Navy. And when will you retire? You In 60 think? years. 16 more years? 60, yeah, yeah. In about uh, oh, 12, 12 years. 12 more years. 12 at more 60 years, years old. 60 right. years You're old. still a young man. Yeah. Still <laughs> Thank a young you. man. Thank so you. You, you have full time uh, commissioned officer, Royal Thai Navy. Uh, you are air traffic controller at Utapau. Uh, do you. Uh, are you involved in the civil civil aviation uh, school? Yes, I'm learning at civil aviation training center, in Bangkok. Okay. The uh, uh, Royal Thai Navy is sponsor to me. Excellent, and they have a very good English second language program yes, there. Yes? yes, because English is the aviation language of the world, yes. correct? Yes, my teacher at Civil Aviation Training Center has come from USA. Perfect! <laughs> so he's learning American English, so apologize to all my UK and Aussie friends, but the American English is international, yes. right? Yes. Because the the original English from UK yes. and our Aussies, they have uh, words that we don't quite understand in American English. So I'm glad that they you have an American uh, instructor. So in addition to your time in the Navy uh, and Utapau Airport, you also have your own home security system business where you install security. And start start right start running that this is system right CCTV yeah. system. Oh my and God. learning. Uh, in about 10 years ago, my sister is the owner of CCTV system. She is owner. I see. Yeah, um, when, when, when we are off duty for Buddha Power, I go to her shop and assist her to, to sell to manufacturing system. Right. After that. I am um, uh, go to Banchan to buy the the house and uh, make a development of my business. Absolutely, CCTV system. Very good. <laughs> so before you come to Banchan, your sister already had a business for the equipment. Yes. Of the CTV system. CCTV. So you already had somewhere where you could buy, right? Yes. And but I don't know how you have enough time with everything that you do to have. But it's a family business, right? Your wife yes. and uh, uh, you have uh, two daughters. I I have three daughters. Three daughters. Yes. Okay. Three daughters. Wow. So <laughs> I I seen one of your daughters at your. Uh, uh, CTV home security shop in in Banchang, and I think she was maybe eight years old. Is that yes, right? Yes. Is that the youngest? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you are a man of many hats. I appreciate you bringing uh, the up to date information about Utapau Airport and the smart city. I hadn't heard about that yet, and then also the high speed rail, because like I say, uh, in the uh, Farang expat community. We hear a little bit of news, but we don't know true, not true. So 
it's very helpful to my viewers to know for sure that these these are signed contracts. This is going to happen. Yes. Yes, today. All right. Yeah. <laughs> today. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, teacher. But, uh, we're getting ready to go on uh, vacation and we really wanted some interior. So we just called him up today and he happened to have the free time to come out and install the two exterior cameras for us. Wow, you guys did such a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So yeah, guys, I just briefly wanted to go over the uh, detailed information on our CTV home security system from uh, TMV, Tom and Juan Security Systems. Uh, I highly recommend this guy, man. As you've seen in the interview, he's an amazing man. His English is outstanding and very, very trustworthy with excellent technicians that work for him. So you already saw today's bill with the two cameras that we added today, right? Here's the original bill where we bought all of the equipment. We bought two cameras and the four-channel NVR along with the uh, hard drive system, right? And there you can see the two cameras originally, the ones that we have on the exterior. And the installation was only 2000 baht at that time. So, yeah, that was 14200 on the original installation. And then he came back and put in the two exterior cameras today, which we chose to have the two exterior cameras. There was no, no need to do that if we didn't want to. But anyway, man, all of that together, both bills, comes out to uh, 21000 baht. Total, the 14200 6800 and that is equal to $870. So, guys, I think that's one hell of a deal myself. We're talking about a very smart, easy-to-operate system. My wife and I both have the apps on our phone, so either one of us can be the administrator on the apps, and we can uh, save videos from any time frame that we choose, so we can monitor the system live from anywhere in the world as long as we have Wi-Fi or some kind of a data plan on our cell phone. So yeah, it's really an amazing, very high-tech, smart system. So yeah, shout out to Mr. Tom Won Won. And right here's his business card, guys. Want to be sure to let you know this is a family-owned and operated business right here in Bon Chong. So there's his line ID, his fax number, and his phone number. And I'll also put a link to his Facebook page in the description box. Thanks a lot, guys. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the interview there with Mr. Tom Monwan. He's a commissioned officer in the Royal Thai Navy, as you heard. He's also an air traffic controller at Utapau Airport, and he has his own CTV home and business security system shop right here in Bon Chan. So that was excellent information to get the insight straight from someone in the know about the expansion of the Utapau Airport and the high-speed rail system from Bangkok all the way down here to Utapau, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that. Look, if you haven't subscribed to Teacher Thomas Thailand, I'd appreciate it if you click that red button right down below. It won't cost you a penny, and there's no obligation to watch any of the content that you're not interested in. But it'll really help the channel bring uh, my information to a broader audience so we can get to that 1,000 subscribers, and the YouTube algorithms will kick in, okay? So I'd really, really appreciate it if you're watching this video. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thank you very much for subscribing. Teacher Thomas Thailand, right here in beautiful Ban Chong Rayong in amazing Thailand. Peace and love to everyone. Signing out, man. See you guys on the next one. TTT, out.